who is Ken Weatherwax? Well, you might not remember that name, or maybe you can't pull it off the top of your head. But I'm going to take a guess that if you like 60s television, you are going to recognize the character he played. Kenneth Patrick Weatherwax was born in Los Angeles, California on September 29, 1955. Ken hails from a family of entertainers. His aunt was Ruby Keeler, who was a famous actress and dancer who starred in many popular musicals in the 1930s, including Gold Diggers of 1933 and 42nd Street. Ken's uncles, Frank and Rudd Weatherwax, were animal trainers, and their collie pal, became the original Lassie, and Ken's half-brother Joey performed under the stage name Donald Keeler and portrayed the character of Sylvester Porky Brockway, a farm boy who always wore a beanie cap in the first few seasons of Lassie. Ken's first work was playing Chester in 1960's Gleam Toothpaste ads, alongside Alice Pierce, who many will remember as being the original nosy neighbor Gladys Kravitz from Bewitched. And Ken had only worked on those Gleam commercials before he was cast as Pugsley Adams on the 1964 ABC show The Adams Family, after a successful screen test with stars Carolyn Jones and John Astin. The Adams Family television show is based on Charles Adams' characters that were first introduced in 1938 in the Weekly New Yorker magazine as a single-panel comic strip. Now, despite being creepy and kooky, mysterious and spooky, and altogether ooky, the Adams Family is actually a wholesome, loving, close-knit extended family. Pugsley Adams is the oldest Adams child, and Pugsley is almost always seen wearing a striped shirt and long shorts. He's kind-hearted and intelligent. He actually has an incredible skill for engineering, and together with his father, he creates a computer called Wizzo and a robot named Smiley. Pugsley occasionally conforms to conventional standards, such as joining the Boy Scouts or playing with a puppy, much to the dismay of his parents. Now, Ken's mother Marge said that Ken really only wanted to be on television because his older brother was. But once young Ken realized the time commitment that acting on television show would entail, his interest quickly diminished and Marge said he would have rather been off playing baseball or doing anything else. And John Astin, who plays his father, Gomez Adams, on the show, said that Ken was very dependable, pleasant, well-mannered, but he wasn't sure that Ken wanted to be there. And John also went on to say that he had really his great affection for the children who appeared on the show and kept in contact with them even after the series ended. After the Adams family was canceled in 1966, Ken decided that acting wasn't for him. So he returned to the public schools where he unfortunately became the target for bullies. And Ken did not handle the teasing very well and was kicked out of several different schools before deciding to enlist into the army at 17. He found that once they shaved his head and put him in uniform, he looked like everyone else and he was no longer just Pugsley Adams. In 1977, Ken reprised his role as Pugsley for the made-for-TV reunion movie Halloween with the New Adams Family, and this movie brought together most of the prominent cast members from the original series, except for Grandmama Blossom Rock, who was unable to participate due to her illness. Ken frequently appeared on talk shows and at fan events, often alongside Lisa Loring, his co-star from The Adams Family, where she played his on-screen sister, Wednesday. The two maintained their friendship over the years. And Ken did make a career out of the entertainment industry, but he opted to stay behind the camera, working as a grip and a scene builder. 
Ken died on December 7, 2014 of a heart attack while at his home in West Hills, California. He was only 59 years old. And Scott Michaels, who used to operate a bus tour in Hollywood called Dearly Departed Tours, and he also had a museum there. Unfortunately, both are now closed, but he helped raise funds to have Ken's ashes interred at Valhalla Memorial Park Cemetery in North Hollywood. And if you're interested in seeing the footage from that day, the day that Ken was laid to rest, Scott does have it on his Dearly Departed Tours YouTube page. So there's a brief remembrance of Ken Weatherwax. And even though Hollywood wasn't for him, acting wasn't for him, he, he was a perfect Pugsley. There is nobody that could have played Pugsley. Ken Weatherwax was just perfect. And if you have a favorite scene of Pugsley or any Adams Family scene, please leave it below in the comments. And thank you so much for listening.